This is the easiest way to build AI agents with Crew AI that use a RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation Framework for setting up a repeatable workflow for your specific tasks with your own documents, which reduces hallucinations and irrelevant responses and improves the results of the LLMs. There are three main methods you can use to improve the accuracy and reliability of the responses of any generative model such as large language models. The most widely used method is fine-tuning a pre-trained model as a way of post-training or additional training, but with specific data for specific use cases. This is a way of reusing the same model and redirecting it to respond to specific queries instead of building a new model from scratch. The downside of this approach is that it goes through a similar process as the initial model training. It requires high computation power and it changes the model parameters. A less demanding method is in-context learning or ICL. This is basically providing the model with additional examples of the desired response at the prompt. ICL does not require any model training or parameter tuning and anyone can do this on the flight inside the prompt. I have made a video about in-context learning with more explanation using the results of GPT-40. I will leave its link in the description box so definitely check it out as it can be quite handy in many situations. But what we will use together today is RAG or the Retrieval Augmented Generation method. This is basically providing the pre-trained model with additional information from external sources of data. For example, a PDF file, spreadsheet data, a web link or even a code repository and asking the model to prioritize the external source of data and base the responses on the actual information in these documents. Just in case you are curious, this method was first discussed by Lewis and other researchers in this paper, which I will leave its reference to. As you see, instead of directly asking the model or this sequence-to-sequence -sequence generator, the questions are passed through this layer of query encoder and retriever with access to these extra documents, and the model is mainly used to generate responses in natural language in a coherent way, such as question answering, chatting with the documents, or even producing a post or report. With all this explanation in mind, now we will build an agentic rag that can also act as a blueprint workflow for any of your projects where you need multiple AI agents to access external documents repeatedly. I will use the initial setup that I explained in this video I made before, which shows you how to set up a virtual environment and download models for building an agentic workflow with Crew AI. So if you are new to this, I suggest you follow the steps in this video first. We will make a rack system with multiple AI agents that can extract data from a CSV file about IT salaries associated with each skill, which I downloaded from this GitHub repository. I will include the link to all the processes and code for today's workflow in the description box as well. Since I've already made my virtual environment, I will just activate it from its bin source like this. Next, open your virtual environment folder and navigate to its .env file and update its variables to point to this fixed localhost address where Olama will be running. Specify Llama 3 as your model, but make sure you have it already installed. You can skip this OpenAI API key. Save the file. Now back in our VS Code terminal, we will make a project folder and move there where we will make two important files that will generate our custom model with Llama 3, as I explained in detail in my previous set of video. The first one is a model file where you define the model, set the temperature, for example, load it to 0.1, so that the model only sticks to the facts and then ask the model to stop when the results are obtained. The second file is a shell script file that executes our custom made local model. In this file, we ask Olama to pull the base Llama 3 model and create a new model based on it with the specifics that you see here. We then execute this script file as you see. It should show success without error. You can type Olama list to check if the new model is successfully made. The last thing is to make a Python file for our rag based AI agents. We will import agent, task, and crew functionalities from Crew AI as well as Chat OpenAI. But the important one is this CSV search tool from Crew AI tools that will help us extract data from a CSV file as part of the rag system. 
There are three ways to integrate an external file such as a CSV file into your rag-based workflow. The first is to use wget command from your terminal to download the file from an online source, for example, a website or repository. For that, we need to first install wget and then use it as a command to download any type of file with its web address using any of these extensions. The second way is to integrate it within a Python script as part of the automatic workflow. For that, we need to integrate it as a subprocess. So import subprocess and use this function that initiates a process with popen or the Python open file. So the standard output and the output of the errors to pipe, which indicates that a pipe to the standard stream should be opened. Set the text to true. So these processes are open in text mode and set the shell to true so that your command can be executed through the shell. Communicate returns this tuple as a string. Finally, run your function with wget set to full web address and set the verbose to true to see the output of this command. The third and the easiest way to set up your rag file is to use a local file, just as I did here using the same CSV search tool that we just imported from Crew AI Tools, and give it the full path to your file. This will be your tool object that your agent will use later on. To save recording time for this video, I'm only defining two agents here. The first agent uses this CSV file to extract the top 10 highest paying positions in IT and programming and sort them based on the job title and the skills needed to get to that position. And the second agent, which acts as a technical writer, receives the structured data from the first agent and writes a full career path and timeline to acquire those skills. You can obviously define more agents which will use this CSV file for different tasks or even multiple CSV files to extract data and insight from huge amounts of data and make sense of them in natural language. One thing that I noticed is that I had to explicitly tell the agents in the description of their tasks not to deviate from the actual data in the CSV file, otherwise they may generate some synthetic data in their responses too. Once we define their tasks, we just need to set them as a crew and run the Python file. You can see the results of my agents here, with a comprehensive career path and the methods to obtain the skills needed. For more accurate results, I would perhaps set up more agents. For example, a second agent to check the accuracy of the extracted data from the CSV file before passing it on to the technical writer agent for more processing. This workflow setup is like a blueprint that helps you extract data from any CSV file, for example files containing product prices for making better decisions in your business and areas to invest. I tried to make this video short and compact for you, but feel free to follow along at your pace using the code link in the description box.